Hey guys, it's Styx here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a pretty cool looking dance effect in OBS Studio. So if you want to set up a, a cool looking dance scene, um, yeah, this will be a really a good starting point for you. The things you need is a firstly a green screen. So if you don't have a green screen, um, you can buy one on eBay for probably $20, $30. A blue or a green sheet will work fine. And the second thing you'll need is the Stream Effects plugin for OBS Studio. You don't need this entire plugin. You just need one of the effects we're going to be using today, which is the source mirror effect. I think you can get I think you can get it from a, di a couple different plugins, but I'm just going to link this one down below. Um, so I'll also link a tutorial on how to install plugins. It's not very difficult. Uh, you just have to find the OBS files and you basically download the plugin. You'll click on go to download. You'll uh, find the plugin down here for whatever you're using. So pause the video, uh, watch the tutorial if you need help on installing the plugin, if you don't already know how to do so. And after you've installed the plugin, you just have to restart OBS and then we'll start with the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is chroma key the background, which is pretty easy to do. If you have a green screen, you should know how to do this already. You basically just right click add chroma key in the filters. Basically, you just select a color. So you'd go to custom color, select something that's similar to your the color of the green screen, like whatever screen you're using, because you might not be using a green screen, might be using a blue screen, whatever. And then you'll basically just play with the sliders until you get something, until you cut out just the background. You can't get it perfect. Obviously, my setup's not perfect. It, it depends a lot on lighting and uh, how, how smooth your uh, screen is. But once you get something like this that doesn't look too bad, you can see I've almost completely removed the background. There's some little, it's a little stuff down there, but don't worry about it. It won't look too bad. Um, then you're going to add the source mirror. Now, this, what the source mirror does is it basically just copies another one of these sources. Well, it's a source mirror, so it mirrors a source. But the good benefit about it is that you can actually add effects to the source mirror without it going to the actual mirror. So, for example, if I added multiple face cams, so I'm just going to call my source mirror face cam. Face cam mirror one, I guess. And... I can pick the face cam as a source, so you just go find whatever your face cam is called. So mine's just called face cam. And then you'll see here that face cam mirror one is just a copy of my face cam. So I'm going to put that behind my face cam, and I'll show you the cool stuff you can do with it. With the face cam mirror that you can see just there, that one's the mirror, this one's the actual face cam. If I go into, if I add any filters to my actual face cam, it will... Do it for the face cam mirror as well. So you can see if I add, make the gamma really low, gamma really high, the mirror will basically just copy whatever the face cam looks like. And then if I go to the, however, if I go to the face cam mirror, I can go to the filters and I can add effects to the face cam mirror and it won't add it to my face cam. So the first thing we're going to add is for this dance setup that we want is a color correction. And if you go to the colors, you can basically just Pick any color you want. I'm going to choose red because I like the color red. It's kind of cool. And I can add this behind my face cam. So line it up so it's directly behind your face cam. And you'll see that you can't really see it because obviously it's behind my face cam, so you can't see it. But what you can do, because the ba this whole effect is basically you want colors to trail you. So what I'll do is I'll add a render delay which what the render delay does is it it delays how long until it's rendered. So anything that the face cam mirror does will be slightly delayed. So I'm going to add a, just to show you guys, I can add like a 150 milliseconds. And you'll see that the face cam mirror will follow me, but it will be a little bit delayed. So it will, it will kind of trail what I'm doing, right? Um, I'll put this down to 80 milliseconds because you don't want it to be too crazy, right? You want it to be fairly close to like the edge of your body. So you kind of get like a nice outline when you're moving around like this. And then what we can also do, which is pretty cool, is we can add a second face cam mirror and do basically the same thing, but we'll add a bigger delay and we'll change the color. So I'll go into source mirror again. We'll call this one face cam mirror two. We will find the face cam source, which is here. I just pressed F to quick find it basically. Um, we will put the face cam mirror two behind face cam mirror one and we'll go to filters and we can add basically have the same filters. We can add the render delay. Whoops. 
add the render delay. We'll make the uh, delay twice what the last one was because we want the we want there to be like the same kind of distance interval between the colors. So we want the red to trail us really closely, and then we'll have the blue. We'll add a blue color, and we'll have it trailing a little bit further away. You can do any colors you want. You don't have to do red and blue. You can tweak with this however you want. There's tons of cool effects you can make with OBS just by sort of merging different effects. Um, if you have different plugins, you can instead of having solid color, you could have like for example. Uh, you know, you could you can make like a video or something that plays where the color would be. You make it so it basically masks out your webcam, and there's there's, there's lots of crazy stuff you can do. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it simple for this tutorial, but maybe in future videos I'll I'll go over a little bit more complex stuff. Um, so we can go to color correction again. It doesn't matter if it's above or below the render delay, um, and we will select a blue color. So let's go for a light blue. We'll probably look pretty good here. I'm a little bit, I'm a little picky. We'll go we'll go a little bit, a little bit to the left here. Here we go. So you can see we have a red glow, and then we have a light blue glow, which is slightly outside. You can also so you can tweak with this however you want. Um, you want to put the contrast on negative one for these. The red one doesn't matter, but you'll see that like you can see my head, which we just want a solid color. If you want the head there, you can have that. So you can, you can probably see if I move fast enough, you can see my head. This is fine, but you can, if you put it down to negative one for the contrast or something close to it, then you, it'll just be a solid color, which for now, I'm just going to go for the solid color, the most simplistic one, the more, you know, it just pops out in your face. You can also add a, a change opacity as well. So if you don't want it to be fully, so if I add a background here, if you don't want it to be fully, you know, if you want the, if you don't want it to be fully out in your face and you want to have some a little bit see-through, you can add opacity to these layers. You can add more layers if you want. You can make a rainbow. You can do whatever you want. So I'll just keep this at 100. The other thing you can also do is you can make these slightly different size. So for example, this looks pretty cool. You can add... Because when I'm standing still, you can't see the colors at all. But if I if I transform them... I'll just, I'll just grab the edge, actually. If I make the face camera slightly bigger than me, but still kind of center it, you'll see that... Now you can always see it. So I can do that with both of these mirrors real quickly. Make it a bit bigger. Make this one a bit bigger. Doesn't even have to be super precise. Maybe slightly off is what you want. And now you can always see the glow around me. So you see I have the red. The red is slightly lower and the blue is slightly higher. So the top of me is always blue and the bottom is always red. You can change it however you want. Um, and basically, yeah, if you want to... So you can see that some some dance moves, depending on what effects you're using, some dance moves look kind of cool. Like this looks pretty sick. You know, I'm not I'm not much of a dancer, lads, but uh, thank you for watching the tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If I get good feedback or if you guys like this tutorial, let us know and I'll make some more.